got Morton, we've got Buzakis, and Buzakis was on the losing end of an 11-0 tech fall yesterday. And uh, Drayden Morton had a tough battle with Pearson Manville earlier today. Manville hit him with a short little pancake late in the match when, when uh, Morton needed some points. But it was Morton for most of the match. He was out to a 4-0 lead early. Manville kind of did his Manville thing and pushed him, pushed him, and got his points. And then at the end was just stronger. Speaking so, of that, in a similar fashion, we'll see Pizalkis get on the board early and draw first blood with a push out on Morton here. Which is one more point than he scored yesterday. So, which, which again, that's critical where unless a fall is had, he will add a team point to Dynasty's total. So if you're Carnage, you got to start even in your wins, you got to start finding a way to keep the scores at zero or getting falls yeah. if you're going to close the gap, especially as we're almost midway through the duel now. And and there's another point on the step out as uh, Buzakis was getting worked to the edge and came through and hit an arm throw to get the both feet of Morton out of bounds. And now he's up to a, out to a 2-0 lead. And he's stalking, keeping his hands on Morton. Vince, one of two Buzakis siblings wrestling in the tournament. And one of three that have wrestled this tournament, as we, we had seen Nick on a couple of occasions. And he's now in the corner coaching his brother through this takedown as he's in on a leg on Morton. Good job here by Morton, keeping those hips close over the top of the head. Now looking to pop and come out the back door is Buzakis up to his feet. Just kind of plants him on his face. Yeah, I, I cringed you real bad there momentarily. You never really want to stop action with your face. Yeah, no. Uh, but, I mean. Especially when the action going toward your face brings your heels closer to your head. Yeah, that's it's not really what you want to do. Am not, I gonna no, get, no surprise on blood time. Yeah, here. no no surprise. Don't bleed on Cliff Matt now. He'll get mad at you. I mean, you can clean it up. You'll be all right. But we're at 4-0 as, as we're working on some blood time here from Morton. This is, like I said, his face stopped the action. Yes, yeah, so it's not too surprising to see him dripping here. What we're kind of flying through this duel, aren't we? It's freestyle, man. So if you're getting tech falls, you know, you, you're not going to be sitting for an hour and a half in a high school duel meet. Cut the blood time. Bring them back to the center. Let's get after it. So 4-0 in favor of Vince Buzakis. He has a lead over Morton. Chasing down another takedown, or at least trying to get to the leg here is Buzakis. Buzakis has done a great job in the early goings of this match. Not only controlling the hand fight, but controlling where the hand fighting takes place. He's controlling the engagements to this point in the bout. Yeah, he's been holding center really, really well and you know doing more of the stalking and more of the chasing and been in better positions and, you know, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to watch the match from yesterday, but at 11-0, at, at it's pretty easy to see he didn't really control much of anything. So he's, <laughs> yeah, all, no. he's already doing a lot better than he did yesterday. And, but, but obviously, you, you take a little bit more precedent here as, as Morton was trying to shut the door with kind of a knee over walk by. Now, he, oh, he was looking chest wrap momentarily, but Bazalk is doing a great job of fighting his head underneath. And this See, is where you want to be on that crotch lift position. Morton runs out of time, but he was in really good position for that. Good job there by Buzakis to drop his hips low as we go into the break, and he's got a 4-0 lead. Mm -hmm. Like that, that, that was prime position right there for that crotch lift. He just couldn't get it in time. You know, and, and, and one other thing that we talked about, you know, is it's tough to go undefeated over this entire weekend. But the, the other is the adjustments that you make so quickly 
not just from one match to the next, but from one day to the next. You know, you, we've already said Absolutely. these guys have already met. You're already seeing a different Vince Buzakis. You know, he's got his hands on him. He's got his hands out in front of him. He's in better positioning than, you know, we than I've seen him wrestle this entire weekend, essentially, right? So he's he's been doing the things he needs to do and made the adjustments necessary to be here at a 4-0 lead. Absolutely. And, and it's funny you mention that because when Mike Mal and I were doing our preview, we talked about no easy matches. Mm -hmm. That In this tournament, there are no cupcakes. And the thing about that is, so that means when you're in match four, five, six, and your body's going to be, you're, you're going to feel it on your body. So, so the duel as a whole, the duel tournament, becomes a, a game of attrition almost more than anything else. And it's completely different than when you're, you know, wrestling, say, at the Open in Vegas, right, where you lose two, you're done. Yeah. You're done. Now you're hitting hammers inside guys. Trip there. Inside trip look from Morton. Good job there. Strong by Buzakis. And now we're going to get one on the step out. Very strong by both guys. That showed some strength from both. And Buzakis feeling it a little bit. Looks like he's holding his peck. Yeah. But as I was saying, you know, when you're wrestling in, in other freestyle tournaments, you're, you're not hitting as many of these, you know, really tough hammers that you're hitting this weekend. And you, you're going out there every single time, whereas you will only hit, you know, one or two unless you make it to the finals. And, and the other thing about that is in some of these bigger tournaments, especially at the high school level, if you go to a Fargo, a Super 32, and you got a bracket of 400, yeah. there's a good possibility you're going to hit at least one kid who's, ah, he's a local kid, he wrestles, yeah. he, he pays his entry fee to test himself. Yeah. In this type of an event with only 10 teams, it is, and, and it was a great point that Mike Mel made, is the most condensed level of talent in the country yeah. annually, especially at the high school level. We're back to action after the injury time. They're, they're working on kind of that, that delt. Double straight Bumble forward. Dockers. And you might be feeling it a little bit here. And this is this is where the match was won by Morton yesterday. As he's in on this leg lace, and that's already a better fight than yesterday. And they, they want some points here. He's already had two tries at it. Not My sure goodness, why they're he giving him another. My goodness, him fighting that leg lace. You, I, that's tough. That is tough. And and he's wearing it too. That is tough. That is really really tough. But we're at five four. Uzak is kind of walking it off here. He is wearing that. I don't care what nobody. I don't care who you are, how tough you are, unless you are a Muay Thai fighter who <laughs> has hit your shins with lead pipes. Fighting a leg lace that tight for 15, 20 seconds, you're gonna feel it when you get up. And I feel like, you know, Buzakis is still kind of shaking off the lace, the, the injury to his, his pec and delt, and, and front delt, right? Like, they were working yeah. on that shoulder. He, he's, he knows how much time he has to work and how much time he was, he's going to have to sprint. So he's kind of wearing it a little bit, feeling it. Probably doesn't feel like Morton's going to come forward or do too much in that regard of trying to score some points now that he has a lead, knowing that he can rely on his defense is... You see Morton kind of circling here. And now this is where Bazalkas, he's got to be able to find one. And, and like I said, I think that the sprint is going to start late. Yeah, I, I would imagine so, because you don't want to sprint too early, gas yourself out, even if you get the takedown, then you have a counter sprint coming at you. Especially with the, with the, the, the gas legs from that leg lace, and like I said, that front, that front delt and that, and that pec, right? Absolutely. So, You're probably only going to have one good, good sprint in you. He gets to a leg. Shin Wizard here. He looks to throw a boot in on that far side. Not there. Morton able to fight it off. And if, if you're Buzakis, this is where you just want to get up to your feet. He's got to bring that bounds. leg up. Short time. And Morton taking a peek at the clock. Now going to bring two him up. And he throws him over and picks up two. And at the buzzer. And they're, I believe they're, they're Vince Boo Zalkis. He Whoa. fights through a lot of it. I think they're going to want two seconds left. We're going to show 
Here's your replay. One second on the clock as they go out of bounds, and he throws them to his butt. Wow, wow, wow. So I think wow. they might be putting maybe one second, maybe no time back on the clock. What about is going to be the finish? 6-5, Buzakis comes through, fights through an injury to his upper body, injury to his lower, lower body, body. <laughs> and comes out and scores the, the points that he needs to get the win. That's kind of the ice that you